Hey, Stu here from UAB Futures and welcome to another episode of Tech Tuesday where every Tuesday we get together we talk about some new, different or just exciting technology in the FPV drone racing world and today well, I've got something that I've never seen before. Look at this frame, this is the Aerobot. And I've reviewed so many frames, like 100 plus frames that I've checked out and I've never seen one that is this strange shape or this strange design. So, what we're gonna be doing, we're sticking it on the bench. It's not a full breakdown or anything like that. It's just the Tech Tuesday. Quick look at the Aerobot and we're mainly just gonna be focusing on the frame. So not the components, but just this crazy, far out, different thinking frame design. All right, let's stick it on the bench and get started. Alrighty, so here it is on the bench and I guess disclaimers first, this is how this one came and I can tell you this thing I don't think there's too many of these in existence so this one is definitely has been flown before it's not brand new I'll put some links down below to where there hopefully should be some more information about it but what we have here this is the Aerobot you can see it's a four inch racer it's designed to do some very special things so on first thought you might think gee that's not going to go through the air very fast on this thing but when you tilt it over this thing and you put the camera angle up this thing should absolutely rip because it's pretty much shaped like a rocket ship so it should be absolutely burning through the air. Now traditionally, look, I've got this build here. This is a five inch racer. This is my 100 mile an hour build. You can go watch that video. I'll leave a link up there. But uh, you know, you can see this thing slicing through the air has a very different profile to how this thing's gonna go. This one is all about aerodynamics. Now those aerodynamics, as it's slicing through the air, quads traditionally aren't very efficient. So this one, we've got like a pretty much, it looks like a bit of a bullet shape. You can see it's also in the plus. So most quads have got their arms coming out the side like this, you know, with their camera nice and clear. This one, it's actually in a plus configuration, so it's going to be going like that. Whereas most quads, I guess, we'll get this one as another example as well. You can see they're in that X configuration if they're both both going forward. So that's how they're going to be as well. This is the X, and you can see that one's in a plus config. Now the frame's really made up of a few different components. So we've got our standoffs in there, which are holding it in. I'll see if I can flash a picture on the screen. It's got some pretty thick carbon in the middle, you know, and that's going to serve as the part where our main arms are as well. And then it's also got this printed sort of part on the outside as well. So I've just unclipped this part. I'm not 100% sure what material this is printed at. If I can, I'll link this down in the description down below. I shouldn't have taken that zip tie off, but I'll just have to zip a new one on. Now you can see here, all the internals are really up in this top little part. So we're gonna take this top off and have a bit of a quick squeeze at how those things all go together. So there it is, I've taken the top off. That's where it houses all your electronics, all that sort of stuff. I'm not going through them because that's not what this Tech Tuesday episode's about. You can see it's holding our ESC underneath with a little standoff pattern right here. And you can see on the bottom, look, it's really just three pieces of carbon, three plates, all five mils thick. You've got your two ends and then where your top screws on, and then you've got your main part with your arms right there. But overall, it seems pretty rigid. I don't think it's gonna be breaking anytime soon, and uh, it should help. It's very, very light as well. So if I stick it on the scales, remember this has some pretty thick carbon arms, so the arms are coming in at five mils, so that's not, you know, it's not a thin frame whatsoever. The whole thing is only coming in at 210 grams, so it should be a little ripper. Now, one other thing as well, you notice this big cavity in here, and you might be thinking, Stuart, what is that all about? That's ridiculous. Well, we actually, this is where we slide our battery. So you can put a battery on the inside, connect it up, and uh, you can see that's a 1500 in there. That's probably a little bit too big for this one. I'm probably gonna be running a 1300, you know, something like that in there. You hook that up, and then you're ready to rock and roll. So that would be it. And the whole idea about this is, as well as having great aerodynamics as it's zipping through the air, it's very, very light, but you, you have a really centered CG, so all the weight, is nice and in there. It's not going to be on the battery's not on the top or anything like that. So hopefully it should make for a pretty crazy flight experience. Now, of course, look, it's not going to be perfect. It doesn't carry a GoPro or anything like that, but that's not what I'm after with this. You know, on Tech Tuesdays, I want to check out some crazy different, just different technology. And this sort of frame design is so far left field in all my time. I've never seen a frame look like this. I don't know how many are in existence because I know this was actually the Aerobot's personal one that they sent down to me. So I can't wait to take it out and rip this thing around because I think it should be a lot of fun. Alrighty, so there it is. There's my Tech Tuesday quick look at the Aerobot. And trust me, we will be taking it out and flying this thing around. I'll be doing a full review as well of, you know, when it's all built up, ready to rock and roll. But for a Tech Tuesday quick look, I think it's something pretty exciting. It's got some definite, you know, features we haven't seen before. And that shape, the aerodynamics, I have no idea how this thing is going to go. So drop your comments down below. How do you think the Aerobot's going to go? How's it going to go around the UAV Futures test track? Is it going to be a ripper? Is it going to be a dud? Because this shape, it's definitely so far out, so different to some of the traditional frames that we have. Anyway, 
Hope you guys enjoyed that. Definitely subscribe for more FPV related content. Hit that bell icon and you know, drop some comments. What else do you want to see on Tech Tuesday? And as always, happy flying. I showed this on my Instagram a little while ago, you know, and some people said that I should call it Barney after that big, big purple dinosaur. Anyway. Alrighty, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. Definitely subscribe if you're new to the channel and check out these videos. And I'm also going to leave a little link here to my Patreon page because I've got some fantastic Patreon supporters and I like to give back to them as well. So if you want to join the UAV Futures family, there's things like bonus Velcro straps, little bundles of FPV goodies and things like that that also get sent out. Anyway, happy flying.